What's up everybody? Welcome to another unboxing. I hope you could hear me. I got the lav mic on this time. We're gonna see if this works any better. Let's get to unboxing. First one, here we go. I'm gonna go with, uh, I think there's a couple of My Hero Academia figures out there. And as well, I'm gonna go Star-Lord. I got those Star-Lords too, maybe even the Captain America. Let's go Star-Lord first. Star-Lord, we got it! Yes, I knew it was true. There's the Star-Lord. Let's take a look at the play. So I figure I just need to lift that edge up for the prize to be tipped up enough to fall into the chute. Let's see if it works right here. Perfect placement and in. Two plays, that's all it took this time. Free figure. And as well, the very first time I was able to win from this particular setup. I know it's a lot like the normal platform game with the sticky bar in front. Definitely a lot harder because of those D-clips. Awesome, first Star-Lord. There's gotta be another one somewhere. I think they might have been in the same package. Safe to say that it might be in here. Let's go for the other. This is the B prize. Let's go for the unmasked A prize. What is it? No. Wrong one. I knew Captain America was pretty close to these, so here it is. Let's take a look at the win. But luckily, it's snugged up right near the prize chute, and we're gonna go for the back edge on this one. Right claw. The left claw gets under it, and let's see about the rise. Perfect, guys. Another one of those slips. That technique has been working lately. Look at that right arm. Gets snug around the side of the prize. The left arm goes underneath, and the catcher's gonna pick the prize up so far to the back edge of it that on the rise, the left arm misses, is held only by the right arm, and once again utilizes that sticky material to grab the edge of the box and throw it into the chute for the win. Only two plays on this one, so we're gonna call this one a free figure. Two figures, two Q poskets. I believe, if I can remember correctly, that the other Star-Lord was in this exact same package. I'm gonna go, the other Star-Lord, yes it is. I, hey, I'm pretty good at guessing today. Got two of them right. Let's take a look at the win for that figure. A little bit further than I did the last try because I wanted to get more of the middle of the box and it worked. The slight movement of the right from one play to the other and the fact that the catcher didn't travel back at all made all the difference to pick up more of the prize and get it into the chute. Awesome, here we go. Three figures up and we got a chopped down box. Look at that, you can tell that the logo's here and it was supposed to be up on this face, but they chopped the top of this box, made it a little bit smaller. I'm thinking plush, as well plush. I'm also thinking, I haven't won a lot of plush recently and the only one I could think of might be that Shenron. So first and foremost, I'm going Shenron, sight unseen. Let's get in here to this crazy box, this chopped box. I know it was a bigger box and they just, Kind of chop the top off of it to get this prize in here. What's it gonna be? Come on, I know it's gotta be. I'm going for it first. It's Shenron. Yes, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or not. It's a really cool plush, but maybe someone will enjoy it even more than I will. It's pretty unique plush. Look at that. Unbox in an unbox. There's Shenron. Super long plush. Longest plush I've ever won. Let's take a look at the win. I still chose to play the setup one last time, so there was no discrepancy on who won the prize. Not only did I play the turn when the prize fell, but I also played the turn right after. Instead of relinquishing the play, somebody could have came into the room, played one time, and disputed that they won the prize because technically the prize fell in between turns. Very cool plush, super unique plush. This dragon, is it the year of the dragon? It might even be. Okay, four prizes, one plush. We're going more figures. Let's go My Hero Academia. Uh, maybe even the Dobby, Dabby Dobby? Let's go that one. No, it is My Hero Academia, but we got Denki, Kaminari. Let's take a look at the win. Looks like it's gonna drop the box in between the platform and the bar, but no, there's enough momentum and as well, a perfect positioning of the corner of the box on the platform still had enough momentum for the box to topple over the bar and into the chute. A lot of these figures were in the Tereba's Too Easy videos. Check those out if you haven't. Okay, last one. There should be three prizes per box. Basically, that's what I get sent every time. That way I get two free plays, the big order. Let's go My Hero Academia. Not even quite sure which one. Uh, don't know, My Hero Academia. Come on, no it's not. 
Demon Slayer. I'm gonna hope the shovel stabs initially, and then afterwards we'll slide off to the side just like that, pull it over and it's in. 11th try, only one try over the 10 that I usually give myself. Most of them were probably free play, and I might have been able to shave off a few plays if I had grabbed the side like that. Nice figure, hope that one's gonna go quick in the eBay because it was pretty close to the limit that I like spending on any of the prizes. Really good unboxing, five figures, one awesome plush. Check it all out in the eBay store. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.